Well, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but man, it's snowing. This is January 1st, 2016. Wow, it's coming down, man. It is coming down. Hey guys, Tuvad yeah. here, Tuvad's Wild Side. Hope everybody's doing okay. Today I thought I'd make some fire starters, because um, I really need them. But I figured we'd make some together here and uh, we'll test them out and see how they work. Um, all I've got is some toilet paper tubes that I've been saving. I got an egg cart crate here, carton with cotton balls. And what I've done is um, put two or three uh, cotton balls in the bottom of each tube and then turn them down toward the bottom. Um, I got a Tupperware container here with a paper towel on the bottom. That's just in case any of the wax seeps down through. You know, I won't stick to there because um, it might pull the cotton balls out. And then I got a huge bag um, that looks like four cubic feet of pine and cedar shavings. And I guess they, you use them for like pet bedding like uh, hamsters and stuff like that. And then I got a whole pot full of wax that I hope I don't spill all over the place um, that I melted. And this is just used candles. Um, and I've been saving those as well. Uh, it was two degrees Fahrenheit this morning so uh, as soon as we get these made I'll pause the camera and then we'll go and build a fire with them and we'll test them. So the first thing I want to do is just pour without making too much of it. Oh no I don't want to do that either. What I want to do is um, add just a little bit of shavings to each one of these and uh, kind of help seal the hole kind of thing. I'm not trying to get this stuff everywhere. I know it's going to be almost impossible. It's going to go everywhere anyway. But that's okay. Um, and the stuff smells good with that cedar in there. So we'll just fill some of these up a little bit. And then we'll pour some wax down in them. Let's see. Whoa, I almost knocked it over. Put a little bit in the egg crate. Egg carton as well. Yeah, it was. this is like the coldest day so far this year. Well, I guess they're talking about an El Nino, Nino uh, winter, which is going to be a little warmer than normal, which doesn't bother me at all uh, <laughs> compared to the last two years here. Uh, water pipes freezing and everything else, you name it. So, okay, let's go ahead and pour a little bit of this wax in each one of these. cleanup job to do I guess in a little while here. <laughs> it's alright. Alright, get some over here. And these guys try not to splash it all over. Wow. I think I should have used a ladle. Oh well. I just cried over a little wax. Okay, that much is good. Oh man, okay. And uh, while that's still setting up, I'm going to go ahead and I just got an ice cream scoop here, but you could use whatever you want. And you spray the end of it off a little bit there. And then just go down and tap each one of these a little bit. 
just to help them get to the bottom and to uh, make room for more. Good actually. A little bit too much in that one, but that'll be okay. Okay, that's that. All right, now we'll add some more uh, pine, pine and cedar chips. Fill these up. I knew this was going to be messy. I was going to do it outside, but eh, that's all right. We'll clean it up after. Before the wife gets home anyway. <laughs> about nine dollars and I probably got enough here to do maybe oh geez three or four winters man I mean it's just ridiculous how cheap it is compared to regular fire starters you know That just stuff will smell pretty good too. Cedar smells pretty good when it's burning. At least I like it anyway. Okay. Okay guys, let me go ahead and push these down again. sure about this one though. Just a little too much in there. I think it'll be alright. 
once it sets up. Alright, then it's just a matter of adding a little bit more wax. And then, top it off with a couple more cotton balls. And I'll get all that done. And then come back and, uh, and then show you guys, okay? And then we'll go make a test fire with them. Alright, so okay, guys. Basically, I uh, just topped them off with the cedar and pine mulch. And uh, to about a half inch at the top. And then I capped each one with, with two more cotton balls. And now it's just a matter of topping them off with the melted wax. Uh, I want to leave some of the cotton ball if I can exposed just to make it a little bit easier to uh, to light, but I'm not going to really worry about it too much. I can always pull out a little bit of the cotton. As soon as these cool, I'll bring you back and we'll give them a test. We'll, we'll light up a fire in the wood stove. I'll take you over there with me and see how they perform. And the egg carton ones, they're done. I put a cotton ball in each one and then basically just did the same thing with those that I'm doing right here. I want to do these for a long time. And uh, certainly glad I'm doing them. Because now the cold weather's here. These will be these will come in really handy. And that was just about perfect as far as the wax goes. Awesome. Nothing left with the strings. <laughs> okay, guys, I want these cool, and then uh, I'll be back. And we'll take you over to light a fire, okay? Okay. Okay, sure. guys. Too bad. Too bad. It's wild side. I'm back. Um, I got everything done, and I got a wood stove fire ready to go. I cut up all the ones that uh, were in the egg carton, and I'll save these for camping because these look like they're going to work pretty good. We'll try one of them too. Um, that's what I just went out and got. So I'm sure it's kind of wet, but but we'll try it. I'm just going to pull out a little bit of this cotton, give it a go here. Get her started. There, it's trying to go, I think. A couple seconds. Yeah, I hear something. I hear something anyway. That's just the top of the egg carton there. Yeah, so let's see how these work. Add a little bit of uh, Italian red wine. <laughs> Make a fire. Starting to catch now. Now, like I said, this wood's kind of damp, so. But really, I just want to see how the fire starter is going to work. I'm sure it's going to work good. Yeah, we'll light one of these little cups up too. Just to get her going. Real good. Looks like it's working pretty good, guys, I hope. The other day it was snowing pretty good out. Like I said, I think the temperature was like one degree Fahrenheit this morning when I woke up. So 
this old brick house, it's an old farmhouse, and uh, it was uh, really cold this morning. Well, anyway, these guys, that looks like it's going pretty good. Cheers. Mmm, looks pretty good. Sure, it's going to be plenty to get the wood stove going. Wow, look at that one! It's going like crazy. Well, guys, uh, hope you liked the video. Um, if you do, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, click the like button, and uh. I'm going to try to get another video out tomorrow, maybe tonight if I'm lucky. But yeah, that seems to be working really good, guys. Burn time on it is really good. Plenty. Plenty good enough. I mean, it's already going really good. So, okay guys, we'll talk to you later. And uh, have a good day. Cheers.